Keep your energy right. What's up, me familia? So, I'm gonna be realsies. I'm here. You're here. We're doing the elemental readings. And this week, we are seeing what is on the horizon. That's right. What's on the horizon? The Taurus. We're gonna see what's good with the Taurus gang. See what's on the horizon for you. You already know that we are highly favored and protected, meaning no weapon form shall prosper. You already know we give all the glory to the big guy upstairs. You feel me? Look how beautiful it is outside. Look at that. You see your shine? No? Okay. Well, I feel it radiating. I feel it radiating. All right? So, let's see. Let's see what's on the horizon. The Taurus. Okay. All right. As you can see, we have a bonus message. All right. Let's get that out the side real quick. Boom. And we're going to use the wisdom of the oracle. Oracle. Ooh. Two bonus messages. All right. Cool. We'll get to that in a minute. I'm not going to lie. Well, I knew I, I was about to say, I feel a lot of energy coming and it all just on the table at the same time. I ain't going to lie. This little bad boy does a lot of talking for us. But it looks like it's probably because you are blessed. Right? What? Are they repeating our opening, our intro? What? Blessed and highly favored? You feel me? What's going on here? Are they trying to hop in on the vibes? All right, I can't lie. You already know that we are blessed and highly favored. So we gonna, we gonna let it slide. We gonna let it slide, all right? All right, let's see what's good. Ooh, mm, okay, ooh. It looks like somebody's in between worlds. Now, notice that was in reverse when I looked at it. So maybe they're thinking about leaving the world that they're in now so they can come back. They got a message in a bottle, it seems. And in this bottle, it looks like a lot of love. Hearts floating around, wanting to make a phone call, right? It's keeping all that emotion pent up. All right. Yeah, it looks like somebody's ready to go the distance. All right. And the funny thing is, all of this is exactly by the book as it was supposed to be, as the most I intended it to be. All right. So jokes on who? OK, so these were the necessary building blocks to get this foundation situated. Apparently, imagine new life, not you, the fates here and now. All right. So somebody's definitely envisioning the future. All right, they see it. They put in the necessary time and energy and work into the situation. You know, those building blocks, you feel me? All right, everybody knows when you manifest, you got to put a little bit of action into it as well. You feel me? I put that energy in it. Okay, you're definitely doing that. It's looking good, Toss. All right, so now you're feeling like, yeah, that's not going to happen. But to be honest with you, this seems to be a faded event. Yeah, and it's going to be happening in the here and now. Okay, so it's feeling a little bit like, como se dice, here and now. Okay, so basically when energy moves, right? Forward, backwards, left, right, and it uh up, down, left, right, forwards and backwards, right? Six dimensions or six. We're gonna leave that there. Six directions that it can move, right? So with the here and now, that I honestly kind of blinds you for the future, right? Because the here and now, which is on the future and what's gonna come towards you and the energy and effort that you're putting into this now helps you with the desired outcome. Right? You, you catching me? And this was all fated to happen this way, right? It's all happening by the book. Mm, you're like, no, not me. Not me, yeah, you. All right, let's just jump straight to this bonus message. Because this is getting a little heavy a little quick. But I like it. I'm not going to lie. Um, honestly, literally, my Nicholas Tesla book just like kind of made its own entrance in my room. And uh, yeah, so now we're getting busy with that. All right, so let's see what's good. We're doing a lot with the physics. We're doing a lot with the time hopping. We're doing a lot with the aligning ourselves to be who and what we want to be to attract into our lives of course so let's see what this bonus message is seven of swords mm, deceptive energy looks like somebody sneaking around trying to find somebody to fit this glass slipper oh man all right it looks like there's even a list of checking it twice okay mm. possibly come around and mend this situation okay very good so we get the vibes all right we get the vibes. We see what's going on here. I need you to recognize and remember that you are blessed and highly favored. All right. And you're good to go no matter what happens. You will be protected and you don't have to worry about nothing. All right. Just try not to use too much free will. All right. Influence in the read. Bottom of the deck is the magician. Mm, using all the tools readily available to you to bring about the desired outcome. I was just definitely talking about the energy you put into the situation in order to bring about what you're looking for. Was that the six of wands? The knight of wands? Somebody's very passionate. All right, maybe they want to travel. Maybe they want to take a trip. Maybe they're ready to migrate and move. 
Oh no, let's just okay. All right, so somebody is definitely very, very passionate about the situation. Maybe they want to come around, have some sort of reunion, redemption. They're very excited, all right? I'm not going to lie, it's a bit of scattered energy. This energy is definitely a wounded warrior on the battlefield. Um, may not be aware of what's going on around them, but as you can see, as he or she is adjusting their crown, a lot of wands be thrown, being thrown to their back, all right? So they're definitely manifesting, and it seems like something may be working against them in this manifestation, okay 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 cool so over here we have somebody wanting to seize an opportunity and send some sort of communication all right get things moving get the chit and chat and going all right looks like their eyes on the prize three cups they want to celebrate be happy joyful vibes you feel me with the queen of pentacles who sits with crocs at her feet i'm not gonna lie it's a little scary for me yeah you're warm and nurturing but bro why do you have crocs at your feet aren't you nervous you know what it's cool you're probably like part reptilian i'll talk to you another lifetime it's cool you feel me and then here we go last but not least wanting to reconcile bring peace and harmony probably so she could get rid of those crocodiles at her feet because i can't be in the same vicinity but you know what this is not about me okay nonetheless homie's ready to come in he's ready to fight for this he wants what he wants and he wants to be loved nurtured and be in that warm energy of the queen of pentacles mm. okay all right okay so you want to be in her positive energy you want celebratory vibes at least possibly even just friendship three cups all right so it doesn't necessarily have to be romantic mm. eight of swords he's very nervous about coming forward one more because he doesn't want to get his feels hurt yes that's right he doesn't want to get his feels hurt oh, wait is that how i like to say that no that's not how i like, I like to say your feelings broke Hurt, your heart hurts okay yeah yeah now nah, i messed it up you see what i was trying to say that's what i normally say anywho the higher effect all right so this is actually interesting i'm not sure if he's maybe receiving counsel from somebody who's like look bro you totally need to wait it out all right it's gonna boil and be at like the perfect frequency perfect temperature you're gonna see the froth at the top and you'll just know it's time for you to go collect your ships three of wands right all right cool Maybe that's what's going on. Maybe that's not. But what he's definitely seeking counsel on is this passion in the beginning. All right. Where he would like to move. All right. Use his wand. When I say use his wand to like steer and navigate. Okay. Not. All right. Okay. Five of pentacles. The elephant graveyard. The land of no return. You should not be there. The sun does not touch. All right. So let's talk. He wants to reconcile. Bring himself out of the cold with someone he deems as a queen of wands but it looks like he may have gotten to see the ugly side of this beautiful queen of wands all right so he's seen the all of it the good the bad the ugly and you know what he still wants to come back around as the king of emotions and as you can see he is most definitely most definitely mapping out some sort of plan he even finished one of his cups sipping on another one ki and no, i'm just kidding okay taurus okay three of cups wanting to celebrate wanting to celebrate okay buddy powers of threes right you me? let's get going okay look at me having a study session all right so we're having some sort of awakening a tower things are being brought to our attention right now okay it looks to be our wish fulfillment all right nine of cups something that truly emotionally fulfills us we don't have to go outside for outside resources unless it's like the sun or water or something you feel me like those things like we need or maybe like h3o you feel me like you feel the vibes like but not like communication i mean if it's necessary but like you feel me advice and stuff we do all that within ourselves all right we have everything we need or we have access to it in order to fulfill ourselves we don't have to go and drain somebody else or even taint their lives with our own bs all right we don't do that we're emotionally fulfilled within ourselves which is what helps to bring us our wish fulfillment Mm, Taurus playing gangsta over here. Okay. So what you do? 52 fake out with them? Is that what happened? Oh, you hit him with the queen of swords. You're like, yes, I know I'm attractive. I know I'm the queen of wands, but baby, my sword game is proper. And this is over Ooh, with the death card. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So you just came through like a female ninja, right? Like, hey, beautiful. How you doing? Oh, no problem. <laughs> Take him back to his hotel room. Feeling good. He thinks that everything is cool. Yeah, sure. Go wash up. No problem. Come through. <laughs> chink, chink, chink. 
What happened to the lingerie? What happened to the lingerie? You feel me? No lingerie? You taking that off? Like, what's going on? All right, don't judge my life. Let's go. Boom, wish fulfillment. Okay, so that's actually what illuminated what's going on with him. Okay, so you hit him with the female ninja. All right, I'm not going to lie. The most successful ninjas were who? The female ninja. All right, always hit an unsuspecting warrior. Least expected. Not gonna lie, I would totally be one of those guys like, hey, hey, oh. <sighs> tell my mom I said, <laughs> all right, okay, maybe not. Let's go. <laughs> so Taurus hit him off with the Queen of Swords, 52 fake out. And it looks like they actually did very good because of the sorrow, the sadness. Somebody wants to transform this. Maybe take this from the friend zone to a more romanticized vibration. You see the king of emotions here, all right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Transforming, transmuting the energy, turning to something positive, divine feminine energy, as you can see, very sensual energy. Okay, but not many people have access to that. But the King of Wands wants it, matching the Queen of Wands. And two attractive, fiery people. You know what? I'm not going to guess. Yeah, but you know the King of Wands. Competition, fight, situation that he wants to be a part of. He's going to be the last man standing. I'm just going to be honest with you. You know that Knight of Wands? That's one of his guys. All right, guess where he learned that from? The king of wands. All right, so we're just going to fall back and let him do what he do. All right, I'm going to go get a nice coffee latte over here, and I'm seeing you over there. <laughs> you feel me? Let me know when the king of wands is out, because those guys are reckless. All I do know is I'm definitely seeing... Hold on one second. I'm, I gotta, I'm definitely seeing success. Nine of pentacles when it comes to the transformation of this two of cups situation. Five of Wands. Yes, there's some practice. There's some work you guys got to put in the situation. I got to be realsies. All right. Everything that glitters ain't gold. That's not the saying I wanted to say. All right. Anything worth having, you got to put a little bit of work in. And it all starts with an apology or some sort of genuine, sweet, charming message. What you got here? Five of Wands. By wanting to put the work in with somebody who they deem as the most powerful feminine energy in the deck. The Queen of Tarot. The mother of tarot. The queen of all queens. I ain't trying to step on the most highest toes when I'm talking that talk. So I'm just going to lay that right there. You feel me? But in order to be the empress, you have to embody each and every queen within the deck. Know how and when to exude each energy appropriately. And make sure not to slip into karmic territories. Because these five coins over here, this definitely feel like karmic territories. Mufasa definitely said, do not go where the light don't shine. Everything else is ours. Why are we in the elephant graveyard? simple direct you know what you know what there's plenty of stories where people don't listen isn't there we got some story about a girl and an apple you feel me we got lots of stories where people don't listen all right so we're gonna leave that one right there let's keep moving don't judge my life guys please don't judge my life all right oh man nine of coins very diligent hard working energy seems to be working through the night they're on a mission they're moving all right maybe because you see that cargo in the back it's very valuable maybe it's pentacles maybe it's something that's real precious and rare oh man boom all right we gotta wrap this up soon all right maybe it's something that's real precious and rare right so he gotta move at night time he has to do his work very diligently mm. Oh, Queen of Pentacles walked away from her true love. Oh. But what I love is this is faith without works. You feel me? We put that work in. We understand walking away from something the most high is always going to bring us something better. And it's looking like it just may be true love. Mm. Okay. Okay. You know how this one's going to go. Let's finish this up real quick. Forward movement with the chariot. Two people reconciling. Two of Wands, we've gained our perspective. With that Knight of Pentacles, who's working diligently through the night. You know, feel me? Get that work right. What we got right here? Boom. Page of Swords. And the Strength card, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, no. I'm sorry. Yeah, the Strength card. Boom. All right. So they're watching, and they're seeing your strength. They're seeing your beauty, and they're just trying to hold back. They don't want to step on your toes. All right. They understand the situation is done, but they would like to hit that button and start a new chapter with you. Take a leap of faith with you in another direction, in this direction, in your direction. All right, Taurus. Somebody's manifestation is coming to fruition. They definitely see what they want. They're even speaking affirmations in the mirror right now. Trying to mend that broken heart, baby. Trying to mend that broken heart. I hope it wasn't no third-party activity. 
mm, we're gonna leave that there. Let's get some divine direction. I'm gonna get about it because as you can see, we ain't got too much space, and I don't want the phone to start turning on me. So let's get out of here. All right. All right, we're good. Okay, we got a lot, so let's see what we got going on here. First up, career. It's time to add extra energy to your career area. Maybe try something new. You're not gonna be able to read it. I don't know why I was trying it. <laughs> goals. It's time for you to take your goals off the back burner. Go after them. Okay, Queen of Wands, I landed on you over there, my love. Recharge, please slow down. It's not selfish to take time out to look after yourself. Let's go into the Knight of Pentacles. All right, you need to take some time to chill. I see you working diligently. I see you working hard. You need to fall back a little bit, homie. You know what? We're going to have seafood at your house tonight, all right? Netflix with Call of Duty, a little bit of seven days. You feel me? Game night at your house. I'll even bring Monopoly, all right? Let's go. Okay. Boom! Soulmates. Soulmates are important people who teach you life lessons. You can be friends, lovers, family. I'm sorry, friends, lovers, and family members. Okay, last but not least, finito, fin on the list, dunno, time. The universe is helping you. Look for synchronicities, events around you. Who is that on? Queen of Pentacles. All right, so Queen of Pentacles, that one was for you. All right, so somebody's definitely blessed. Somebody's definitely getting their wish fulfillment. Somebody's definitely going to be happy. All right, so we're going to leave this one right here. Praise to the Most High for giving us a dope breed. Praise to the Most High for giving me a dope collective. Praise to the Most High for me being dope. Ah! Okay, so we're going to leave this one right here. You already know we are highly favored and protected. Don't forget, keep it godly and keep it rowdy. All right, so let's get up out of here. And I love you all unconditionally. Love and light, guys.